a lot of us call her mama because she is really like the mother of the Caribbean community here in New York. She was first elected in 1991 to represent the newly created 40th Council District in Brooklyn. City Council member Una Clark, is the, and it's Dr. Una Clark, is the first Caribbean-born woman to serve in the city, New York City Council. And as a member of the city council, she served on committees on aging, youth services, and economic development. And she has been chair of the subcommittee on mental health, mental retardation, alcoholism, and substance abuse services. She has also been a member of the council's Black and Hispanic Caucus. Before her election to the council, she had had a distinguished career for more than three decades in diverse fields, ranging from labor activism and early childhood education to immigrants' rights and the struggle for empowerment of women and minorities. Dr. Una Clark has served as a senior consultant in early education with the New York City Agency for Child Development, overseeing 38 publicly funded daycare centers. And as an adjunct professor at both Brooklyn College and Medgar Evers College, she's really made her way there with the students. She's also served on the boards of numerous professional institutions and held leadership positions in various political and advocacy organizations, including the Caribbean Action Lobby. She was the first foreign-born recipient of Columbia's prestigious Revison Fellowship. Today, family, Tempo family, it is indeed a great pleasure for me to be making this award, but I'm going to ask our chairman to join me on stage because this is a very special moment for us as we present the Tempo Caribbean Rock's first Pioneer Award to Dr. Una Clark. I'm asking you all to stand and put your hands together for this woman who is a living legend in our community and we are proud to have her here tonight. Many of you know her daughter, Congresswoman Yvette Clark. She is the person that gave us that powerful woman who is now sitting up in Oh, she's, oh, oh, wait a minute. Everybody is here. Look at this. Put, look now, the whole fact, I've done discombobulated, Congresswoman. You just, you just threw me off there, girl. I was about to talk about you. Mama Yuna, it's a pleasure. Mm. All right, all right, let's do it right. Let's do it right. Congresswoman, oh, thank you. Oh, Bishop, can you all just forgive me for a minute while I do what I got to do? One moment. Well, you know, I, this evening is just getting amazing by the moment. And this is one of those amazing moments that I am just so privileged and honored to be a part of. We're making history. We want to be a part of history. And we are tonight. And I am, I am just so, you know, when, when you have great role models, which I am happy to have right in my own household, first of all, that's my parents, Frederick and Dolores Morton. <laughs> But when you're also privileged to have role models outside of the home as well that, that are like in your home too, <laughs> you're just extremely blessed. I've had the occasion to sit and talk to the doctor, to Dr. Honorable, Honorable Dr. Una Clark, and she's just amazing. An intellect that is as sharp as razor, strategic, yes. Yes. loving, caring, Really, all of those things, any word that you think is positive is this woman right here. And I am so anxious to do so much more amazing work with her and to learn from her. I just can't wait. So it is my honor, you know, this particular word, pioneer, is, is big. You know, there's not too many people that are worthy of a pioneer award. And Dr. Una Clark, Definitely is. So ladies and gentlemen, rousing round of applause as I present to Dr. Una Clark the first Temple Caribbean Rocks Pioneer Award. First of all, without family and community, you are nothing. 
And for those of you who see me all the time, and you have seen the Congresswoman, you have not seen my only son, Leslie Clark Jr. Yes, Les. Come over here. He, he calls himself Mr. Stealth. So unless it's a family affair, because he produces news at WABC TV, you'll not see him up front. My only daughter-in-law, I have an only son, so I have an only daughter-in-law. I have three grandsons, so I know that the clocks are gonna be there forever. Grandson number three, and then most of you have seen either on TV or hear her because she is for her, Hillary. Oh, yes. And so she's been traveling the country to campaign for her. So this is Congresswoman Yvette D. Clark. I know that the entire Caribbean and the Caribbean community knows what her commitment is to us as a people. And then Bishop Gonzalez. And like you would say in Jamaica, she's a Jamaican, so she's my side pocket. Right. <laughs> but I am indeed honored and privileged to accept this award tonight, not only on my behalf, but on behalf of our community, who when I gave the message that it was time that we had a representative in the city council, took me serious and worked with me so that I have a name and a face for all of us. And I've always said, I am the voice of the voiceless. I am the face of the faceless in our community. So I am honored and privileged. And just to say to Tiempo, I am always going to be there for anything that is positive, that promotes us as a people and our community in its oneness and its wholeness. Thank you very much. But history was made as Dr. Euna Clark's daughter took her seat, or succeeded her in her seat. <laughs> I, I am privileged twice over to introduce to you, to say a few words, uh, her daughter, the Honorable Yvette Clark. This evening is truly about our pioneer the Honorable Dr. Una S.T. Clark. I'd like to thank Mr. Frederick Martin Jr. and Tiempo and the CTO and all of you for making sure that my mother continues to smell the flowers while she can smell them. Oftentimes, we have unsung heroes in our community and it's not until they transition that we recognize all of the work, all of the effort all of the struggle that they went through to make sure that our community remained whole and was exceptional in everything and every way that they've been represented. And that's what Dr. Clark has represented for our community, for the Caribbean diaspora, and certainly for our entire family. So I just wanna say thank you to you all. Continue to support Tiempo, it is our voice, Tempo, excuse me, tempo. It is, a, it is our voice. It provides us the visibility. It provides the content that creates inclusion in our society. Right now, we are in a position where we can tell our own stories. We can read about our own triumphs. We can identify with our own struggles and it's because this brother here has seen fit to create content and create opportunities for our artists, our talent, and our ability to be on display. So let us continue to support his endeavors because we want to see Tempo traded on the NASDAQ like all the other companies and corporations are in the United States of America. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the evening. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. 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 Awesome.